Hello, it's Dawn here again, Dawn's Inspirations. This time I'm going to show you how to make a, a double stamp storage. So with the double stamp storage, you're going to be able to fit three of your stamp folders into each size. Into each side, sorry, not size. So they're going to go inside there. So you can put three on each side. So if you're a crafter on the go, you've got everything you need or if you just want to store your stamps and have them labelled on the outside to what you've got brilliant so this is the double one so get, you're going to need a sheet of the um, A3 I'm using the craft card here from Pink Frog this is 350 GSM I would recommend not going any lower than the 350 GSM because it's just not going to work and you're going to need two sheets of your A4 so the first thing we're going to do is to cut our A4 to make the front panels and you're going to cut this let me bring the trimmer in it needs to be 21 and a half by 13 so let's do the 13 there and then 21 and a half and you're going to need two of those that's one always keep your scraps because you never know when you're going to need them on a card or any other project but if you look when i put the a4 in pink frog a4 is 21 i need 21 and a half so 13 first Ooh, there we go I mean, these, to me, I would cut that in half, fold that in half again and make nice little gift cards. So, there's always ways to use your scraps. We know that. So, that is those two pieces. There is going to be some more cutting, but unfortunately, it's on the A3. And it's not as easy as it sounds because it won't fit in my trimmer. But all will become clear. So let's, without further ado, bring my scoreboard in. So I'm working in centimetres. OK, so I'm going to start on the short side this time. All right, so let's go on the short side. I'm going at an angle because it won't fit in with my, <laughs> my tummy at the desk. Sorry. So you'll have to look at it at a slight angle at the moment. So on the short side, because this is A3, you're going to score at one and a half centimetres. Make sure you've got it in the channel door. So one and a half centimetres. Don't worry if it doesn't go all the way down because mine doesn't look. I'm going to flip it in a minute and show you how to do it. So one and a half, three and a half, 25 and a half, Um, 27 and a half, uh, 27 sorry I'll recap these for you and 28 and a half so you've got one and a half three and a half 25 27 and your 28 and a half sorry your 28 and a half is actually where you're going to cut but of course I can't get that long strip in my trimmer so I'm going to cut it off by hand so I'm now just going to flip so we can get the end of the card if you like because I couldn't fit it all in as you know so one and a half three and a half twenty five twenty seven and 28 and a half Ooh. okay so that's the long score so before I go any further I'm going to trim off the piece we don't need if you've got a super duper A3 cutting uh, platform go ahead I'm just going in with my scissors just for quickness I could use a ruler and a craft knife but I'm just using my scissors so cut that off don't need that piece now we're going to score on the long side okay 
So this time you're going to score at one and a half, three and a half, 19 centimetres, 23 centimetres. We then need to go to 20, 38 centimetres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold there at my 23 and I'm going to put in that. So 23 from 38 and a half is 15 and a half. So I'm going to score there. And then I need another two centimetres. So that will be 17 and a half. So if you have got a longer scoreboard or you're doing this with a ruler and a, and a stylist, you're going to do one and a half, three and a half, 19 centimetres, 23 centimetres, 28 and a half centimetres and 40 and a half centimetres. Okay, so that is all our scoring done. And you know what I'm going to tell you now. Start doing your burnishing. So just take your time doing your burnishing. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do, because then you'll see everything that's going on crafty. I often show as well if I've done a show on creating craft the design team's finished samples because we don't always get time to show every single one on the show. Okay, so just so you know. There we go. So just take your time getting these all burnished. So with this construction, definitely no lower than a 350 GSM. Otherwise, it's not going to stand the test of time, as we say. OK. And the other nice thing about it is, you know, the storage is going to be bespoke to what you want it to be, which is one thing. So you can make it to fit how many you want to fit in. The other nice thing about it as well is these do last quite a long time. The ones I've got on my shelf I've had made up ooh, 18 months, two years. So they've been going quite a long time. So if they do get worn out, and I'm a crafter on the go, I go to a lot of clubs and crops and retreats. So, you know, if they do wear out, you just make another one. And it's still just a sheet of A3 and a couple of sheets of A4. Marvellous. So the first thing we're going to do is in the middle, you're going to cut straight. And just the tiniest of mitres on the middle piece. And you're going to do that the same on both sides. Okay, so that's going to go the same. So you, they are going to be stuck down then onto there. Then we're going with this piece here. So we're going to go straight across. I'm going to do one and you're going to do exactly the same on all four corners. So I'm going to do a little mitre there 
and a little mitre there. So you're going to have that on all four corners. So I've done a slight mitre because this is going to come in and stick there and fold over. So you need to repeat that on all four. So I just like to turn mine round. So yes, turn it, feel comfortable with it. Don't struggle with what you're doing. Make this as easy as possible. So up that way and take this piece out and do that little mitre. So that's two done. Move those bits to the side. And now we'll do this one. Up, little mitre. Little mitre. Straight. And straight. And pull that one out of the way. And then my last one, let's just flip that over. And that's as quick as that is to do. So let's put all these little pieces out of the way so we can then start putting our tape on. So I've got 12 mil here. So the first thing we're going to do, in fact, that's not straight enough, Dawn. I can see that's not on the score line. That was a bit remiss of me. So the first thing we're going to do is along the bottom here. So you're going to go right to the edge of that score line. And then the same on the other side. Okay, we're going to do, this is the, what I call the good side. This is where you do your stamping and things like that. So, so that's that bit and then I'm going to flip it over because these bits are going to go inside there. I could use glue but for quickness I'm just going to use red line tape. So that's one. Two. And I know I haven't burnished. I'm going to do all my burnishing at the ends. that so that's the inside and then your two extra pieces that you've got here do down the side of these as well like we did on the three folder one That's all our tape. So you know what I'm going to say to you now. Give that a good burnish. You'll see the tape change colour as you burnish as well. It does make a big difference. There we go. Like 
one and then round on this side okay oh i didn't do my little tabs that was a bit uh, daft i'm going to do these in tape as well because it's just quicker could do eva but i'll just then have to wait for a moment for them to dry off Sorry if I flick the camera there. Okay. This is giving you the idea of how you do it. If I was doing these for myself at home, I would use EVA and just clip them and just wait for it to take off properly. But red line works just as easily. So there we go. Right, this is the stage if you wanted to stamp all over, you would do. So let me bring in a few samples. So this one here, I have done the texture stamping on, but if you look, I've done um, panels. So it makes it a bit firmer, okay, by adding some extra panels. So that is stamping on. You could do your decorative papers or you could go really beautiful decorative papers. Okay, so just some choices for you. You may not want to put extra panels and just stamp all over like I've shown you in an original one. This is where you would do it now. Do your stamping now before we construct. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to take off the middle panels here got my microfiber cloth beside me to catch all those little pieces there we go And that's going to lay down there so this is what makes all this now now nice and firm okay yes i know it's only 300 gsm card but it's nice and firm and sturdy and perfect for getting organized in that craft room now to cover that up you can put a panel of decorative paper or if i go for my trimmer and take piece of card I've gone just under the four inches and this is going to be by 21 and a half just under the four centimeters sorry just under the four centimeters and this is going to be 21 and a half centimeters so that covers that area so let's stick that down as well so yes, I would normally do this part with glue, but because I want to show you the whole project. And don't forget with these videos, you can watch them as many times as you like. If you're thinking, I am going to get organised in my craft room, you can watch me every time you put one together. It doesn't matter. If you get sick of me harping on, mute me. But... I can craft along with you in your craft space so you've got the confidence to be able to do this and believe you and me a beginner could do this because you're just doing it step by step with me it's as easy as that so let's stick this panel over the top here so this is going to again add to the firmness of the project okay well, let's just snip that should have gone a little bit further up but i didn't so i've got a little piece overhanging can you see that tiny little piece see it's those little things that bother me and they have to come off now so that's down so let's start constructing our project
This red line tape's been a little bit pesky on the craft. Even with my burnishing. There we go. That's one. Plus the fact I cut all my nails down. Which doesn't help because I'm used to having my nails long to do these projects. Okay. So you're going to mitre these two or butt these two up so like we've done in the past you're going to get that nice square and just give that a little burnish I've just burnished that with my finger nice square I would go in with my bone folder as well that's it, that's one let's do the other side One, two, that's one, and two, okay. That's it. So that is now looking like that so you've got your nice corners all done so next stage is we're going to join let me put this this way we're going to put this down onto here so take this bottom piece off try not to go too far so you can uh, craft with me and then this piece is then going to go on the top so I've got my tape down the bottom already and the side piece is done so this time I don't need to add any glue at all and just take your time with this bit lining it up okay make sure they're in just just take your time hold that piece into there like that that piece into there like that okay I'll go in a minute with my hand and do that so now let's do the other side you can see it's starting to come together and don't rush it because obviously this is construction and you want this to last this isn't a project you want to fall apart next week and you're making another one this is the sort of thing that you're going to make and you want it to last you know as I've said I've had mine quite a while and I do a lot of crafting on the go so um, you know they are good and also it means it's bespoke to what I want how many times have you bought storage and it's just not quite the right size to what you want it just doesn't quite fit in how you want it to be okay So just lining that up, just take your time. That's it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that back and I'm going to go in with my bone folder as far as I can I think my hand's going to be easier and just give that a little burnish and flip that over and do the same again 
So there we go. So that is your double storage. Doesn't that look fabulous? So I know that's going to fit my stamps in absolutely beautifully. So I can pop some in there. So I can get three in each side. What have I got here? There we go. Let's get another two in that side. Let's get another th another one off the shelf. There we go. Because I keep them all on my bookshelf. So uh, there you go. Six folders in there. All nice and sturdy. Ready for when I'm on the go. And let me bring those finished samples in. That's by the lovely Heather on the design team. Just using those beautiful pattern papers. So this is with the white 300 GSM. So again, you've got those lovely graphic 45 papers that you keep stroking and don't want to use. Why not use them to decorate your craft storage? You know, use your stamps and your inks. It gives a lovely finish. Or if you prefer that plain look, go for the plain look. So I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations. Thank you for watching and hope you found this very helpful. And just leave a comment below or share me your lovely makes over on my Facebook page or the Pink Frog Inspirations Facebook's page. Bye for now.